Hey guys, Ray Russell here, curator of the WrestleCopia Podcast Network, and I'm here to announce the launch of our latest podcast to the WrestleCopia brand. And I say this with the utmost excitement. It is my honor to reveal our latest podcast venture. It's the Wrestling Stoop with wrestling legend Bob Roop. Bob spent 20 years in the professional wrestling business, both in the ring and working behind the scenes a former collegiate champion, a former Olympian in Greco-Roman wrestling, a recipient of the Cauliflower Alley Club's prestigious Lou Thez Award, also an inductee into the Tragos Thez Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2006, not to be outdone by receiving a spot in the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum, class of 2019. After a stint in the U.S. Army and leaving the amateurs, Bob went pro in 1969 and never looked back. From there, Roop went on to travel the world, from Australia to Japan, Germany to Iraq, and many places in between. And in this podcast, Bob hopes to share his legacy with all, and in his words, he wants to tell his story accurately and completely. And I'm simply here, guys, to help navigate the show as Bob shares countless stories of not just his life and wrestling career, but a multitude of memories from various promotions and other wrestling legends as well. Bob spent 20 years in the ring, in the locker rooms, and on the road throughout the entire decades of the 1970s and 1980s, even working as a booker in many of those territories. And just some of the stories coming down the line that Bob witnessed firsthand include his memories of his time working closely with Eddie Graham in the Florida office, the infamous Bobby Shane plane crash, Jim Barnett's business shenanigans in Australia, what Dusty Rhodes was like behind the scenes. We'll also talk Mr. Roop's tenure and exile from the San Francisco territory, working on top for Bill Watts and Mid-South Wrestling for more than a year during the peak of the Junkyard Dog. Of course, we'll be covering the Knoxville territory and the subsequent Plan B, Bob being detained and forced to wrestle in Iraq. Of course, his time as a promoter, working on commentary alongside the likes of Boyd Pierce and Gordon Soley, and Vince McMahon's Black Saturday takeover of GCW and TBS, and the fallout that led to Ole Anderson running opposition in Atlanta. Then from there, I'm sure we'll even be diving into Jim Crockett's purchase of the TBS slot the following year, and Ole's talent, including Bob, being absorbed by JCP in 1985. All of that, plus a lot of side stories about a variety of talent that Bob shared the locker rooms with all of those years. So many years, so many territories, so many stars, so many memories. All coming our way. So when we return, Bob will be here and ready to share his lifetime of memories. The stories begin with episode number one coming soon. So pop a squat on the wrestling stoop and prepare to be informed, entertained, and get a true wrestling lesson from the legendary Bob Roop. And episode number one going to drop in just a couple weeks' time, so stay tuned. Stay tuned to the WrestleCopia social media, guys. You can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Grenade. That's at R-A-S-S-L-I-N Grenade. Also, follow and like me, Facebook.com slash Wrestling Grenade for all the latest goings on here at the WrestleCopia Podcast Network. So check back often as the Wrestling Stoop with Bob Roop prepared to launch later here in the month of September. Until then, once again, this has been Ray Russell of the WrestleCopia Podcast Network.